All right, so in this video, I want to walk you through the solution of top competitors uh, SQL question on hacker rank, which is a medium question. It's quite a tough one and it's going to take a while, um, but I had some trouble finishing it. Um, and after reviewing the solution, uh, I think I found a way to come to the solution naturally. Um, so let's first read the question. Julia just finished conducting a coding contest. She needs your help assembling the leaderboard. Write a query to rep to print the hacker ID and the name of the hackers who achieved full scores for more than one challenge. So hacker ID and name, full scores, and they did it for more than one challenge. Order your output in descending order, so order by desk by the total number of challenges in which they earned a full score. And uh, if more than one hacker received full scores, sort them by ascending ID. So we have the following tables. We have a table called hackers, which is just in the ID and the name. We have a table called difficulty, where the difficulty level, um, uh, where we can find the max score for each challenge. So difficulty is a level of difficulty, and the score is the score of the challenge. Challenges is challenge ID is the ID of the challenge. Hacker ID here is the ID of the hacker who created the challenge. And difficulty level is the level of the difficulty of the challenge. And finally, submissions. Uh, submission ID is the uh, ID of the submission. Hacker ID is the ID of the hacker who made the submission, so the person that sent it in. Challenge ID is the ID of the challenge. Uh, and the score is the score of the submission. So uh, you should immediately note that from reading this, you should note that this hacker ID is useless because we're not going to use it. On the other hand, what you also need to notice is that this is the score of the submission. So submission.score is the score of the submission and difficulty.score is the total score. So in the question it says um, in which the hacker earned a full score. So you need to make sure that submission.score equals uh, difficulty, difficulty that score. Uh, some sample input. Uh, and what I did is that I actually um, took the time to port everything over to uh, SQL Fiddle. Um, and now we can use this SQL Fiddle to basically uh, play around with the tables and figure out what works. All right, so first let's, um, first step that we wanna do is we basically want to get the submission table, right? Okay, so select star from submissions, and let's call that S. Then we execute it and we see the whole table. Um, now we can add multiple columns uh, to this, but we are going to add, we're gonna start with adding the, let's say the difficulty. So we are going to merge these one uh, based on the, uh, no wait, we cannot do that. Not the difficulty level, but on the challenge ID. So we have challenge ID here. Um, and we can combine it with the challenges table. So we are going to join this, these two. So submissions S, join that with challenge ID, um, join, join it with the challenges table on the challenge ID key. So that means we get a difficulty level uh, for each of these submissions. So let's do that. Uh, from submission S, join challenge C on S dot challenge ID equals C dot challenge ID. This throws an error. Uh, it's challenges maybe, challenges and semicolon. All right, so now we have um, submissions, challenge ID, score, uh, and we have the difficulty level. So now the next step is that for the difficulty level, uh, we can add the score there. So now we are going to join the uh, table that we have, the challenge table or on the complete table, so this complete table, we're going to join it with the difficulty table. So then we get the max score for every submission. So let's do that. So let's get the max score for every submission. Join difficulty D on uh, D dot uh, difficulty level equals 
um, C dot difficulty level. Because the difficulty level is in the uh, challenges table over here. And now we have the difficulty level added as a D dot difficulty level. Also have the C dot difficulty level. Um, but more importantly, now we have the score here. Then to figure out which hacker uh, sent in uh, the submission, uh, we can simply merge uh, the submission hacker ID with the uh, with the hackers table. Now you got to be careful that you should not use this hacker ID because this hacker ID is the hacker ID that made the challenge. So we need to be sure not to use C dot hacker ID, but S dot hacker ID. So let's do that. Let's go to join with, uh, I think the table was called hackers. So hackers H on H dot hacker ID equals S dot hacker ID. Now we should be able to add uh, the name. All right. And then we are almost done because now we have the score here. So for example, for this submission ID, we see that the score is 30, but the score of the submission, so S dot score is four and S dot score, the complete score is 30. So now we got to subset this on all the people that got the complete score. So we have to say where submission dot score equals uh, D, let me see, where did we get that from? From this one, from D dot score, so D dot score. All right, so now we see that submission ID, so this guy, had a complete score, this guy had a complete score, and this guy had a complete score. And now we can uh, subset, uh, because what you basically want is that in the question it says, uh, who achieved full scores on more than one challenge. So, uh, so on more than one challenge. So this guy, hacker ID Todd, got the full score, but only on one challenge. We actually want Joe, who has, um, full scores on more than one challenge. So how are we going to do that? We can say group by, group by, h dot hacker ID, having, and then we can count the s dot hacker ID, where it's larger than one. And now we should be able to filter out, uh, I'm not sure if this needs to be s or an h, I think H works as well. Um, and now we, in our input file, we don't have any way to uh, sort it anymore. But the question clearly states that order your output in descending order by the total number of challenges in which the hacker earned a full score. So order your output in the descending order by the total number of challenges in which the hacker earned a full score. So let's first do that order by, so again, we can count s dot hacker ID, then descending order. And alternatively, if more than one hacker received full scores, sort them by ascending hacker ID. So now I'm gonna do s dot hacker ID and then ascending order. This shouldn't change our output, but it should uh, change the uh, question when we submit it. All right, so let's try this and see if it works. Ah, of course. Uh, we don't want to select all, uh, but we did that to basically uh, get a view. Uh, but we need to uh, do the hacker ID and the hacker name, of course. So that can be done by h.hackerid and uh, h.name. That's good. Well. Uh, and then like a comma in there. All right, that's nice, try that again. Of course, it takes a while. Let's see whether this works. Expression number two of select list is not in a group by and contains a non-aggregated column, which is functionally not dependent on the groups. Hmm. Maybe we can change this one. I just double check my answer uh, and it turns out that we need uh, h.name here as well. 
And now let's see whether that works. All right, that passed, and now we can submit it. And there we go. It uh, outputs the correct uh, exa uh, the correct thing. So the key lesson here is that it really makes sense if you're really trying to figure it out. Go to SQL Fiddle um, and try to input uh, the data yourself. There's a very nice website here called Structurize.com, uh, and you can basically input a screenshot of the table. Uh, you can input a screenshot of the table, and then it gives you back a structured format, and that you can put in here in text to DDL, uh, and you can input the um, the tables. Then what you want to do is you want to work from one table. You want to slowly add complexity by joining uh, tables, uh, as I did here. Slowly build up the complexity while still keeping all the columns. And then at the end, you want to uh, subset group by uh, and start ordering yeah so thank you for watching hopefully you found it useful uh, i found the challenge quite a uh, quite difficult uh so i hope uh, i can help someone with this all right thank you for watching